In this video, we will observe the management of a pseudo-fecic retinal detachment with advanced proliferative vitreo retinopathy and closed funnel configuration. Observe the supratemporal break and the transvitreal and epiretinal membranes as depicted. Initial vitrectomy releases transvitreal traction. The thick subretinal fluid draining from the break causes Schlieren phenomenon as seen here. The break is at the posterior margin of the vitreous base, an area of strong vitreoretinal adhesions. It may be difficult to separate these membranes from the retina. After initial opening of the funnel mouth to create space, attention is directed at thick posterior adherent vitreoretinal membrane. Membranes within folds are sought out and removed. A small quantity of perfluorocarbon liquid is injected to open up the posterior space. The retina is protected from the PSCL jet by the light pipe. Posterior PSCL helps in providing counter-traction during anterior membrane removal. After removal of grossly visible epiretinal membrane, we decide to perform staining to visualize finer membrane. Double staining is preferred. Initial staining is done with triamcinolone crystals which are then removed, in this case, with perfluorocarbon liquid. The second staining is performed using Brilliant Blue G dye. The Brilliant Blue injection dusts off excessive triamcinolone crystals of the retinal surface while staining the contracted, puckered in and a guarded fashion, 
till it reaches the margin of the endodiathermy. The vitrectomy cutter is used to divide the retina at the outer margin of the endodiathermy. Care is taken to remove all anterior flaps of the retina which may otherwise adhere to the ciliary body and cause postoperative hypotonus. Perchlorocarbon is now filled up to beyond the retinotomy margins to flatten the same. The retinotomy margins are lasered all around with 5 rows of endolaser. Continuous mode laser may occasionally be applied. However, the posterior most boundary of the laser needs to be applied using interrupted bursts. This is followed by fluid air exchange with initial removal of the peripheral fluid from the retinotomy margins, followed by removal of perfluorocarbon liquid. 5000 centistoke silicone oil is then injected as a long term tamponade. Complete fill is ensured and the case is closed. Excellent anatomical result and a return of 20 by 100 vision makes the procedure gratifying. This is the patient's posterior capsule. YAG laser capsulotomy puts an eye at the risk of retinal detachment. Careful retinal examination after laser can prevent this complication.